Creatures that were scarier than dinosaurs. I bet you thought dinosaurs were the scariest creatures ever to exist. Well, in this video, we are going to show you some creatures that let's just say would completely destroy dinosaurs on a scary scale. From super-sized serpents to sea monsters straight from your nightmares, we will be exploring creatures that make dinosaurs look friendly. But hey, make sure you stick to the end of this video because the number one creature on our list will leave you frightened to the soles of your feet. Now, without wasting any more of your time, let's begin. Number seven, Arthropleura. First, we'll be starting off with a creature that is a herbivore and isn't even as big as the dinosaur, but I'm sure will totally gross you out if you encountered it today. This creature is the Arthropleura. The Arthropleura is a genus of millipede-like anthropods that lived in modern-day Europe and North America between 283 million and 145 million years ago. They grew one and a half feet wide and could grow up to seven feet long. For context, if it stood on its lower end, it would be taller than American basketballers LeBron James and the great Michael Jordan. And if you think that is crazy, hold on to your seat because the next creature on our list is a certified monster. Number six, Dunkelostrius. The next creature on our list is the Dunkelostrius. And believe me when I say they look just like their name sounds. Dunkelostrius was a sea creature, but it wasn't just like any fish. It was the Jack Bauer of fishes. These beasts were armored fish from the Devonian era that didn't have teeth but their jaw had extremely sharp bones that grew continuously until the edges rubbed against each other, making them extremely sharp. These fish were huge, freakishly huge. They grew 33 feet long. That's about the height of two giraffes if you stack them on top of each other. Their diet included everything from small fish to large fish, even to other Dunkleostrius, and they ate anything but they became extinct around 359 million years ago, so it's okay to heave a sigh of relief. However, you might want to hang on tight, because the next creature is one you'd wish to avoid at all costs. Number five, Leopluridin. The Leopluridin under the order of the plesiosaur was a straight up monster. These bad boys were a group of huge marine carnivorous reptiles that had massive heads, short necks, and streamlined shaped bodies. Some might even say they looked just like dinosaurs. But these monsters were nothing like dinosaurs. They were sea creatures that had really powerful jaws and big teeth that were about three inches long. This might also be a hard pill to swallow, but they had four fins. Can you believe that? No wonder they were super fast swimmers. It is also believed that they had a great sense of smell that they used to track down their prey. And just so you know, its name in Greek means smooth-sided teeth, a name assigned to the species by paleontologists based on the smooth-sided teeth fossils recovered from a town in France back in 1873. They weighed a staggering 3,000 pounds and grew to about 23 feet tall. So let's just say if Leopluridin still existed, I wouldn't want to be caught dead in the water and neither would you. And if your blood isn't running cold yet, then keep watching this video because the next creature will definitely blow your mind. Number four, Platybelodon. Now, if you take a regular elephant, hit it across the face with a shovel and replaced its trunk with a giant spork, you'd probably have a lookalike of the Platybelodon creatures. These monsters are ancestors of the elephant, and they roamed Miocene Asia, some parts of Africa and North America, between 8 to 20 million years ago. Their lower jaw consists of a second pair of tusks that, by the way, were just modified incisors. But what exactly was the reason for the way their jaw looked? Well, in 1920, when the species was first described, paleontologists believed the lower incisors kind of functioned like a shovel, and they were used to dredge soft vegetation in a swampy environment. However, recent research shows that they functioned as scythe to slice through tough vegetation. Although they were generally smaller than their descendants, that is, regular elephants, they wouldn't have posed a major threat to humans because they grew to about 10 feet long and weighed up to 4,000 to 6,000 pounds. Now, I don't know about you, 
but I'm definitely grateful to them for going extinct. Number three, Titanoboa. But if you're scared of snakes, maybe now is a good time to grab some popcorn because the Titanoboa wasn't just any snake. It was a completely terrifying creature. About 58 to 60 million years ago, the Titanoboa was the apex predator in the jungles of modern day Colombia. They measured a whopping 50 feet long and three feet wide with the equivalent weight of two polar bears. And even though we have so much information about the Titanoboa, there are still a few things we just can't wrap our heads around. An example is how they actually killed their prey. Some scientists thought it killed its prey by constricting and asphyxiating them, while others argued that though it looked like a boa constrictor, which by the way is how the Titanoboa got its name, it behaved exactly like an anaconda. But at the end of the day, they all agreed on what the outcome of a meeting with one of these ferocious monsters would be. It swallowed its prey whole, and if you ever had the terrifying experience of staring into the mouth of this creature that looked like it came straight from a Ridley Scott movie, you would be no exception. Well, it's a shame we never had a T-Rex versus Titanoboa battle for the ultimate beast, as the Titanoboa missed the T-Rex by a few million years. Number two, Phobiramus Pattersoni. If you're like us and you were totally grossed out by the thought of rats, then this next creature is guaranteed to make your skin crawl. The Phobiramus Pattersoni is a herbivorous rodent that basically looks like a rat jacked up on extreme steroids. They are arguably one of the biggest rodents to walk the face of the earth and they grew to about 10 foot long with a five foot long tail for some extra oomph. The remains of these ratzillas, as we like to call them, have been found over the years in Argentina, Brazil, and Venezuela. Now, although their closest living relative is the guinea pig, they are bigger and have a longer tail for balancing on their hind legs. What seems really weird is that they continued growing their teeth throughout their lifetime. Now that can be difficult to wrap your head around, but it's actually true. Examination of these beasts showed that they weighed around 800 kilograms. And just so you know, that's the same weight as two African buffaloes. Isn't that crazy? You tell me. The Phobiramus hind limbs were a lot bigger than its forelimbs, which suggests that it rested on its hindquarters while eating and used its forelimbs to gather food. And even though they were herbivores, they had foot-long incisors that they used to slice plant materials. But it's definitely not news that with incisors like that, they could cause some serious damage to even humans. And now for the moment we've been waiting for, the number one creature that we believe was way scarier than dinosaurs is the Sarcosicus. Go turn off the lights, people, because I'm about to blow your mind. Number one, Sarcosicus. The Sarcosicus is also known as a super croc, which in my opinion is the best way to describe these freaks of nature. This super croc was a certified dinosaur killer. If the Sarcosicus still existed today, I don't think I would go anywhere near the water. About 110 million years ago, these giant monsters existed and unleashed their reign of terror in what is now the windswept Tenere Desert in central Niger. These beasts could definitely take on any dinosaur comfortably, from its 1.83 meters long head to its weight that equals more than four standard Range Rover SUVs. There is no stopping these bad boys. Paleontologists also determined that these sarcosicus kept growing forever after examining bone cross sections from different fossilized specimens. Unlike modern day crocodiles that reach their full size in about 10 years, these creatures were growing and growing forever. As a result, these jumbo sized crocs grew to about 40 feet from head to tail. And for context, that's like stacking four basketball hoops together. But the truth is, there is really nothing that could stand in the way of these beasts. Now, one question for you is this. Which of these creatures terrified you the most? Which ones would you have loved to see in real life? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!